are great. You do miracles so great, mighty God. There is no one else like you, mighty God. There is no one else like you, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. We love you, Jesus. There is no one else like you. You deserve the glory. And you deserve the glory. And the honor. As we lift our hands in worship. As we lift your holy name. Is you deserve the glory and the honor and the honor as we lift our hands in worship, as we lift your holy name, for you are great, mighty God. You do miracles so great, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. As we are about to go into the Word of God, minister to your people. God, everyone that's tuning into this broadcast this morning, that's in need of a healing in their body. I pray that you would touch them. I pray that you would heal them. I pray that you would deliver them and set them free. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. How are you guys doing? Now, I was going to teach and preach about the big payback, but you know, just probably about 30 minutes ago, the Holy Ghost interrupted me. And you know, God really put it in my heart that there are going to be some people tuning into this broadcast on this morning that needs a healing in your body. So this morning, I'm going to focus on healing and I will pick up tomorrow talking about the big payback and the day after that I'll talk about God's promises a yes and amen so for you that was looking forward to listening to the big payback we will talk about that on tomorrow I'm on a mission this morning receive your healing I want to take you straight into the word of God I'm going to teach and share a lot of scriptures with you so have a pen and paper out to write these scriptures down and once I get done teaching the word of God, I am going to join my faith with you. We are going to join our faith with you. We are going to believe God for you to receive your miracle of healing in your body this morning. You may have cancer, arthritis, diabetes, suffered from stroke, spinal cord injuries, a broken leg, a broken foot, heart disease, whatever the problem is in your body. There is no case too hard for God. But first, I want you to listen to the word of the living God. If there is someone in the house with you that you know need a miracle of healing, make sure and invite them to listen to this broadcast because I'm going to join my faith with all of you that's in need of a miracle of healing in your body. Listen to the word of God. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. He said, if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God and will do that which is right in his sight and will give air to his commandments and keep all of his statutes. God said, I will put none of these diseases upon you which I have brought upon the Egyptians for I am the Lord that healed thee. So we see receiving a miracle of healing in your body, not in every case, but in, in a lot of cases, it's directly connected to your obedience to the word of God. Because he said, if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God and will do that which is right in his sight, he said, I will put none of these diseases on you, which I brought on the Egyptians, which was a form of judgment against the gods of Egypt for holding the children of Israel in bondage for 400 years. He said at the end of this verse, for I am the Lord that healed thee. Notice he didn't say, I will be. He didn't say, I was. He said, I'm in the present tense. I am in the here and now. 
I am the Lord that healed thee. That's why the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse eight, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, right now, and forever. He is the same yesterday. What he did yesterday, he will do today. What he do today, he will continue to do. Because he said, I am the Lord in Malachi. He says, I am the Lord your God. I change not. So if he healed him in the Old Testament, if he healed him in the New Testament, he will heal you today, right now, and he will continue to heal in the future. Now listen to the word of God here. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 15. And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness. He wants you to know it is his will. The Lord will take away from you all, not some, all sickness. Listen to Psalm chapter 103, verses 1, 2, and 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all of our diseases. The same God who forgives all of your sins, who forgives all of your iniquities. That's the same God who heals all of your diseases. Jesus didn't, he didn't go through all of that suffering just so your sins can be forgiven. That's the most important part. But he also suffered that you might receive a physical healing in your body. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, the whipping that he took on his back, with his stripes, we are healed. Listen to this. Psalms chapter 107 verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. You see, sickness will bring destruction to the human body and cause you to die before your time. But the Bible said he sent his word and we know the word ultimately is the Lord Jesus Christ. John chapter one, verse one, two and three, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. And without him was not anything made that was made. John chapter one, verse 14 says, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. The word is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the word. Are you listening to me? He is a healing word. He is a healing Jesus. And he said, I am the Lord, your God. I change not. I remember preaching in Uganda, Africa, where the power of God fell in that meeting. There was a woman suffering from HIV AIDS. She came to testify. She said, Pastor, I know I'm healed because I was weak. I was dying. And now my body is revived. I'm strong. Well, of course, I said, well, listen, we want you to get that miracle verified. Go to your doctor, get the blood work done and bring us the proof. But even before I got to finish talking with that lady, the Holy Ghost said, there are three more people in the audience who have been suffering from HIV AIDS. Tell them I have just healed them. Tell them they are healed. Go get the blood work done. We were in a miracle service down there in Uganda. Glory to God. And the next day, the first lady who came up to testify and the other people, it was a few days later, they they came up in the meeting to testify that their blood work had been done and there is proof they have no more HIV in their body. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Are you listening to me? Listen to the Psalms chapter 30 verses 2. Oh Lord my God, this is David, I cried unto thee and thou has healed me. Praise God. Listen to the word of God here. In the book of Matthew chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness, and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went abroad throughout all of Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases 
and torments and those which were possessed with devils and those which were lunatic and those that had the palsy and Jesus healed them. Listen to the word of God here in Matthew chapter 8, verse 16 and 17. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils and he cast out the spirits with his word and heal all that were sick. Listen to verse 17, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah, the prophet saying himself took our infirmities and heal our sicknesses. He is a healing Jesus. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Play the anthem for me. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Are you listening to me? I feel the power of the Holy Ghost here right now. You that need a healing in your body, if you have one air deaf, put your hand in that air. If you have cataracts, glaucoma, or blindness in the eye, put your hands on that eye. If you have arthritis in your body, put your hands on that part of your body. If you have fibroid tumors, put your hands there. If you suffered from heart disease, kidney disease, liver disease, lung disease, blood infection, put your hand on that part of your body where you need a miracle of healing. You might have a cancer in your body. Put your hands on that part of your body. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost is present to heal. Are you ready to receive your healing from God? Are you in agreement with me? Do you believe the word of God? Open your mouth right now and say, by his stripes, I am healed. I rebuke the problem in the spine. I rebuke it. Someone with problems in the spine, you are being healed right now by the power of God. You suffered from a spine because of a car accident. The power of God is flowing in your body from the crown of your head, going right down through your spine and even down into your legs that have suffered some damage. I rebuke heart disease right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command your arteries to be cleared up. Someone suffered from a congestive heart failure. The power of God, you felt electricity. You felt like a heat. You felt like warm oil flowing down through your heart area. The power of God is here for you are great. The power of God is here. The power of God is here. I command you to be healed in every part of your body. I command you to be healed in your neck, in your spine in your lower tailbone, in your left hip socket, in your right hip socket, in your legs. I rebuke arthritis from out of your body, in the left shoulders, in the right shoulders. I rebuke the pain from out of your body. Right now in the name of Jesus, I rebuke asthma from out of your body. I command you to be healed right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Tonsillitis, tonsillitis is being healed right now by the power of God. Right now, someone who have blurred vision in the left eye because of diabetes, you started to lose your vision in your left eye, the Holy Ghost is healing you right now. Receive the sight in that left eye right now. The power of God be upon you. The power of God be upon you right now. Heal you in the name of Jesus. Lupus is being healed right now in the name of Jesus. High blood pressure, low blood pressure, fibroid tumors, tumors in the left chest, left and right chest, being healed by the power of God. Someone with a damaged right knee, you are being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Someone with a broken right ankle, left ankle, the power of God is flowing. Don't wait for me to call it out. Just call it out before the Lord right now and receive the miracle of healing in your body. Receive it, migraine headaches are being healed right now. In the name of Jesus, hypertension is being healed right now. Anxiety, someone's being set free from anxiety, from depression, from emotional wounds. 
My God, the power of God is flowing here. Someone who have suffered rape and it caused you to be, it suffered from depression and even suicidal. The power of God is healing you from that traumatic experience. God is setting you free this morning. He is delivering you. The power of the Holy Ghost is all over you. We set you free. We set you free from those wounds. Right now, from that torment, from that shame, from that darkness that have hung over your life ever since that have taken place in your life. We rebuke the power of the enemy in the name of Jesus. My God, I feel the power of God flowing here. Someone just received a miracle of healing in the right hand, in the right hand. Capital tunnel syndrome being healed right now. Someone's being healed of an asthma right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed of the cyst, be healed of a cyst around your ovaries right now in the name of Jesus. Barrenness being healed by the power of God. Someone who are not able to bend over and touch your toes because of a twisted tailbone, you are being healed right now by the power of God. Bend over and touch your toes. The power of God is on you. My God, the power of God is flowing. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. There is no one else. There is no one else like you, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Mighty God, there is no one else like you, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. The power of God. People who've suffered from a stroke. The power of God is healing you. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Many of you watch slip and fall accidents and damage your back, damage your legs, damage your hand from the fall. The power of God is on you. Someone is being healed right in their left hand between your between your wrist and your elbow, you are receiving a miracle of healing right now in that left hand. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every sickness. I rebuke every disease from out of your body. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Don't wait for me to call it. The Lord knows what you have need of. Just call it out before the Lord. Say, Lord, I receive my healing from whatever it is. Just call it out. Say, I receive my healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. God will make a way. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Forever He is faithful. Forever He is faithful. He will make a road when you bear a heavy load. I know God will make a way. Come on and sing it to the Lord. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Forever He is faithful. Forever he is faithful, he will make a road when you bear a heavy load. I know God will make a way. You know, whilst I was singing that song right there, the Spirit of God spoke to me. There are many people listening to this broadcast this morning. You have really suffered some deep emotional wounds. You are still suffering from the trauma, that bad event that took place in your life. The Holy Ghost want me to tell you, He is healing you of those wounds right now. You know the Bible says, Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord God is on me because He has anointed me 
to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. That's people who are brokenhearted, who are just wounded and bruised up internally and emotionally. The Holy Ghost is healing you right now. Come on and lift your hands to heaven. He's healing you of those emotional wounds. Rejection. Rejection. Verbal abuse. Some of you have suffered physical abuse. And it's cost you not to know how to trust people. You have trouble in developing relationships with other people. Because of the trauma you have suffered from trusting people. You have a hard time trusting new people that God's trying to bring into your life. The Holy Ghost is healing you right now. You will trust again. You will love again. You will smile again. You will enjoy life again. Because Jesus said, I've come that you can have life and have it more abundantly. Mighty God, forever, forever he is faithful. He will make a road when you bear a heavy load I know my God will make a way sing it to the Lord this is for you listen God will make a way when there seems to be no way forever forever he is faithful he will make a road when you bear a heavy load. Say, Lord, I'm giving my load to you. I'm not going to struggle with this again. I'm not going to carry this bitterness, this unforgiveness, this trauma in my mind, in my emotions, the bad thing that happened to me. I release it to you. The blood of Jesus is cleansing me from it. The blood of Jesus is setting me free from those deep wounds, those deep emotional wounds, been betrayed by a spouse, been betrayed by parents, betrayed by brothers and sisters, betrayed by church people, betrayed by employees. God is bringing healing into your emotions right now, right now. Be healed, be set free in the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Listen, if you're watching us through your YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the red and white subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen. And every time we go live or upload new videos, you will receive a notification. Make sure your notifications are turned on. If you're watching us through Facebook, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. The address is Facebook dot com forward slash Sean Pender Ministries Facebook.com Sean Pender Ministries and our YouTube channel address is youtube.com forward slash Pastor Sean Pender youtube.com forward slash Pastor Sean Pender listen me and Pastor Amy we love you guys we genuinely care about you and remember if you receive a miracle of healing in your body or you set free from depression or some trauma whilst listening to this broadcast, please email your testimonies to us. Info at seanpinder.net Info at seanpinder.net You can also visit us online to our website to submit your testimonies to www.seanpinder.net We love you guys. God bless you. And we look forward to being with you again on another morning prayer broadcast. We love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Make a way where there seems to be no way.